Hello, this is Vinnie McDonald at JTEC Institute and I'll be talking about the actuator today. I have one right here. This is an actuator. As you can see, you have the um, import, out port. So the hydraulic fluid gets pushed in as the actuator gets pushed out. This is the out port, which as this is goes up, it's going to push the fluid out of this and into the bottom here. They're connected with hoses and they go on a number of things, uh, trucks and forklifts, stuff like that, that lift heavy objects. There's a great amount of force that is used to lift things and move things. The accumulator is, the actuator is, And we have our piston. This creates force. You can create a measurement, a measurement on this to see how much pressure it uses, how much pressure is put down on this face here by measuring this, this is 314 pi. And then to get the right, get the distance of this, you take that, put that in half, whatever the measurement of this is, and times it, divide it, and times it by two. And that will get the surface area here. You see these um, bushings here are all rotted out. They need to be good for sealing the hydraulic fluid to not have so much come up here. There is a bushing here to keep the hydraulic fluid down and not pass these seals but this right here takes hydraulic fluid and makes it come up here as well and lubricates the shaft keeping everything good and running that's where your hydraulic fluid goes and this will go up onto your vehicle or your forklift and create pressure so you can lift heavier objects that you normally couldn't use as a force of liquid as it's as its mode of lifting heavy objects the actuator is pretty significant to trucks and forklifts um, this is Vin McDonald, Vin McDonald at JTEC Institute, and that was actuators.